Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a Liza Minnelli inspired look and this is taken from her role in the 70s film Cabaret. Now I've already done my base and I've also blanked up my brows. Um, so for this look you need a foundation that has pretty good coverage and you want to um, make your brows look as fair as possible and blank them out completely if you can. Um, so I'm starting off with a my base shadow, this is a white eye shadow, this is Gesso by MAC. I'm going to start off by putting this onto the lid. Next up I have this little um, quad from Revlon, this is a uh, one of the colour stay quads and this is a uh, number 18 Azure Mist. Now I'm going to be I want to apply one of the blues onto my brow area. Now I don't want the colour to be as light as this, but I don't want it to be as dark as this. I'm sort of going to mix those two blues together. I'm going to, I'm just going to do roughly, just onto the brow area. I'll say roughly, and by that I mean it doesn't matter if you aren't really neat, because it's going to get blended into it eventually anyway. Right, let's start by just blending the two colours in together. Just sort of soften the socket area. And then next up I'm moving on to um, this dark grey of the um, Revlon quad and I'm going to take a little amount and just get it right into the socket. To achieve the signature cabaret fine brows, you're going to want a black eyeshadow, and um, I'm using an Eloise Young angle brush. And what I'm going to do is just go over where my natural brown line is. If you really, really want to go for the full flapper 20s look, um, because they were, the brows were really, really arched. So you can you know, make them as arched as you want. But I'm trying to, I'm going to keep this a tiny little bit wearable. So I'm not going to fully arch them. But sometimes you would see um, flapper styles in the 20s with young girls with their eyebrows literally drawn on their foreheads. So if you want to do that, by all means feel free, but I'm just going to just gonna stick to this. Next up I'm just going to line my eyes using a fine line of a gel liner. This is a black ink Bobbi Brown. I'm going to start off relatively fine because I'm going to be applying false lashes shortly and I'm just going to take it very finely through the bottom lash line the main reason really why we're applying a liner to the bottom line is because we're going to be applying bottom false lashes um, as well and it's just really a line for, like a line for the um, lashes to stick to, make them look a little bit more natural. And I'm just adding a light coat of mascara onto the top lashes. Because I'm applying falsies, I don't need to worry too much about the mascara coating. 
Now the lashes were quite spiky in this look, well with Liza Minnelli's look they were quite spiky. So I have these little um, lashes which I got a, a, about a year ago I guess from um, uh, some, well the packaging looks Japanese, I got it from eBay basically. Um, so I'm going to just apply a thin strip of glue. Now while I'm waiting for the glue to dry clear on the top lash line, I'm just going to just put a little bit of white eyeliner into my bottom waterline, just to open the eye up a bit. This is just matte fascinating. Now I've actually got here the same lashes again, but I've actually taken some scissors to the just to the outside corners of the lashes to make them a little bit smaller and these I'm going to put on to the bottom lash line um, so I just cut them to fit basically yeah, it is quite a cartoony look <laughs> quite Betty Booish so just wait for glue to dry clear so I'm just going to apply a little bit of blusher, um, now I'm using this blusher, this is a, it's a lovely blusher, it's um, by Mimi Me, and um, this one is uh, coral, I think, yeah, coral. Now we're going to go for the red lip. I have a lip liner from Max Zorbent, it's like a, like a brick red. No, well, you do want your lips to be fairly well shaped in this look. And make the cupid's bow quite pointed if you can. Sorry my kitten's playing with the chair. Then applying MAC Ruby Woo. Do you want to say hello? Is that what you want? Hey, come here you. There you go, there's your spotlight. <laughs> You got a bit of a fan base, you do. I upload a couple of videos for me, and people go wild for you. Hey, say hello, Margot. There we go. And finishing off the beauty spot somewhere. Doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm going to put one just here. Now this is just a last minute thing, but um, I don't know, I think the crease could be a little bit darker, so I've got um, a slightly darker grey, this is a MAC typographic. And just with a tapered brush, I'm just going to get it right into the, really dark in the socket. I really hope you have enjoyed my cabaret and spa tutorial. Um, thanks for um, watching all the way through if you did. Um, and thanks um, if you have subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you're all well. And I will see you all soon with more tutorials and more videos of Margot. If you... Unless she starts being cute. I don't think that will happen. Will it? Will it? Will it? No, she's not talking to me. Um... Anyway, I uh, hope you're all well and I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.